Hi there, welcome to Regatta Fitness. My name is Trevor. Welcome back to the platform here and just want to give you a quick sort of how-to instructional video on stroke rates. So there's a lot of different ways stroke rates can be used for your fitness and for your power and anything in between as well as combining the two. And the general sort of rule of thumb is that your low stroke rates down at 16, 20, even 22 are usually meant for longer, lower intensity sessions, and we'll do examples towards later this video. But generally, the higher the stroke rate, the higher the intensity, with the max stroke rating being going as hard as you absolutely can, and the lower stroke rates being more of an idea of working on technical aspects, as well as adding just normal steady state pressure to get a longer, more steady uh, exercise in. However, there is also the idea that your intensity is also independent of the rate itself sometimes. For example, if you're rowing at an 18 and rowing at good long length and complete strokes using all the right muscles, yes, it might be sort of a steady workout, but there is the idea of pulling as hard as you can at that 18. So if you're looking to maximize sort of a power workout, you're looking for like a deadlifting exercise or a heavy squat to really use the machine for that, a lot of times if you add a little bit of resistance, load up your core really strong, you can sort of weight lift the erg by going really hard at an 18 or a 20. But at the same time, if your intensity is lower, it then turns into a sort of a steady state workout. And then naturally, as the rates come up, the intensity should come up with it because you want your rhythm to be drive based. And what I mean by that is that when you're tapping it along and say you're up at 26, 28, or even 30 strokes a minute, that your body is moving up and down the slide quite quickly. But if more of that speed is coming from zipping up and then slowly driving, you're not rowing in a sort of efficient rhythm. So a lot of times, if we take the stroke rates down and focus on rowing long and connected strokes where the intensity is appropriate and the stroke rate is appropriate, we're going to get the most out of our workouts. And now, I guess to sort of show you what I mean by that is simply sit down on the machine and give you an idea of what I mean. So for starters, we've got our nice lower rate here. This is an 18, just looking for good, continuous strokes. And notice my intensity is not super high, but my strokes are long and continuous. This is the sort of steady state idea. And yes, this is not super challenging, but then it really becomes on the athlete themselves to make it challenging. So notice my rate will not change here, but my intensity is gonna go from about 50% to 95%, just like this. My recovery slows down, my drive speeds up. That's a drive-based rhythm here. I'm pulling really hard, but my rate's the same. Squeeze in length, relax, and then I can bring it slowly back down, and then the drive, and the recovery starts to level back out. Then, as we start to increase rates, which you most likely do when you're doing racing intervals, high intensity, it is a very easy way to get that heart rate up and sort of force you to pull hard in a sense. But you never wanna feel like you're just spinning your wheels. For example, I can row really short and do this for a long time and my rate is quite high, or if I lengthened out and try and hold that same rate, notice how much more fan speed and handle speed I have to create for the same rate. So, while stroke rates are not the be all end all of how we take the stroke, they can be a really important addition to how hard we go, how long the workout is, and what we're looking to get out of it. So to summarize, you always want to try and be rowing your best length, your best connected, good rowing strokes at all rates and intensities. And if you find yourself starting to spin it up too much and the fan and the chain are really short, chances are you might be spinning your wheels, rating too high for the appropriate intensity, and same thing the other way around. If you're looking to really get a great aerobic sort of power 
intensity workout, like a sprint workout, a lot of times maybe you're geared a little too low and you need to learn how to get quick around the ends and keep the handle moving while maintaining your length. So, obviously, I'm a little out of breath bringing that intensity up, but it's up to you to really just try and find what rhythms work for you, what don't, and also it's a great time to just sort of learn more about the machine and how rowing applies to you as an athlete. So, have a great day. Hope you learned a little something and glad you tuned in.